Hello! This video should be very quick start to Jazz Report, the new open source reporting platform based on JavaScript. Jazz Report allows you to design and generate reports. By report, I mean usually something like this. A printable document with some tables, charts, headers and footers. It can be for example a timesheet or an invoice or any other document. Imagine you need to output these kind of documents from your system. In this scenario it's important to have some helper like Jazz Report that will make it easier. Ok, so let's see some examples now. Jazz Report provides a free playground application you can try, you can use to try and fiddle with Jazz Report and it's great for a first start. So let's go there. You can get to playground easily from jazzreport.net website. Just click free playground and start. Now you can see web application we call Jazz Report Studio. You will use this application to design your template and to test them. You can see that I didn't need to fill any credentials so you can try it on your own. Here on the left side there is a place where you will define the layout of the report and on the right side you will see the preview. Let's just try to put there something like hello world from Jazz Report and click run. Cool, so it's doing something. Let's do some formatting. Cool, so it's also applying HTML formatting. You can see that Jazz Report is currently rendering HTML report. Let's change the output to PDF. To do this, I will open the basic pane here on the left and now look at this recipe combo box. Recipe specifying procedure, how is the report rendered and also the output format. The current one, the first recipe is just rendering HTML. The second one called Phantom PDF is rendering HTML and then printing it into PDF using Phantom JS technology. And the last one, FOP PDF, is using Apache formatted objects processor to actually transform XML into PDF. Let's try to switch recipe to Phantom PDF and click run. You can see that it successfully rendered a PDF for me that I can download, save, and open a new tab. Let's try to put some data into report. We can use this data tab in the left menu to prepare some testing input data. This field is accepting JSON format. So let's put there a JSON collection of students that we will use later in the report. So students will be array of students where every student will have a name. And H. Let's put there another guy. One old one. And let's save. Just to make sure you understand it, this data that I have just prepared are testing data that I will use to design this report. This data will be then in the production filled by your application through JS Report API. Okay, now we have data prepared, how to print them into PDF. In JS Report, you can use JavaScript templating engines to iterate over input data and dynamically print them into document. You can choose in the basic tab here on the left the templating engines you prefer. I like the JS render, so I will state it, save with it. If you are not familiar with the JavaScript templating engines, just type in Google JS render or handlebar JS and look at it. It's very simple and it takes like 20 minutes to learn how to use them. So back to our example. Let's loop over this data. Let's loop over these students that we prepared and print a table of, of students in the PDF. So let's define HTML table here. Where, where we will loop our students.
and for every student we'll print a row in every row there will be two cells the first one will display the name of the student and the second one will display age So let's run it and see the result. If it's working, yeah, it's working. So I can see that I have two students, Jan Blah and Joe Doe, with age 29 and 102. Let's extend the example a little bit and put at the end of the table a row with sum for age of people uh, of students. For for this, we need the helper function that will iterate over the collection and calculate sum. Let's create such a function function in the helper step. So let's create function sum that will accept students as parameter. Let's declare private variable to store the actual sum. Let's iterate over students and for every student let's increase the sum by the age of the student and return the sum. So now we have prepared a function that will sum the age. Let's put there the last row where we will, dis where we will display it. In the first cell we will just write sum and in the second cell will write the actual value. With this tilde in JS render you can call helper, so it's standard notation. Just write sum. Input will be students. Let's close this close the cell and run the example again. Okay, that's it. We have very simple report prepared. You can try it immediately on your own. The beauty of this approach is that you can design any report you want. You are not limited with any editor. It's most likely just JavaScript and HTML. It's up to you. Look, for example, at this invoice example. Yeah, I don't want to change it. And run it. And you can see that you can in 20 minutes prepare, for example, your own invoice in JS report. Or look at this another example. Let's run it. That with JS report you can even even run any JavaScript you put into the HTML and you can even render a fractal for you. Okay, that is all for today. I will show you in the next video how you can create your own private account in JS report and how to communicate with JS report API. Thank you for your attention. I will be happy if you will tweet me with any question or any feedback.